Hey everyone, I'm Clara, and this week we're going to be doing an iMovie tutorial. So next Monday, we're going to have a full how to make videos for YouTube workshop here at the library led by me for teens and tweens at the Coos Bay Public Library. In preparation for that, I put together a tutorial in iMovie on how to make montages, which is something that I do pretty frequently on this channel. So let's get started. So this tutorial will be taking place in iMovie and we'll be discussing how to make a montage. So first of all, you open up iMovie and choose create new and then movie. And next you're going to choose your content. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using clips from our fall fundraiser video. Uh, then you just pick a few clips to populate your gray bar down here. I'm going to pick a few clips of B-roll that I shot at this event, which just means generic shots of clips that show what the event was about. And the next thing you're going to do is mute your clips, which you can do by either dragging the sound bar down to the bottom, or by going up to the gray bar above the screen, choosing sound, and choosing mute. Once all your clips are muted, you're going to choose your audio. Personally, I like using iMovie sound effects. So go up to audio, choose sound effects, and then you can go into the jingles. You can also find royalty-free available music online. Um, there's a lot of options in sound effects, like uh, this one, which I've used in previous montages. For this one, I'm going to go ahead and use broadcast news. So I'm going to grab it and drag it down underneath my video clip, place it there. Next we need to find a good starting place for our music. I'm going to put this forward a little bit and then I'm going to split the clip. To split the clip you select it and then you use command B is the keyboard shortcut and that splits the audio into two different clips at the point of your marker. And this is one of the most common shortcuts I use. Then you can delete the unused clip and move it back to the beginning. I'm also going to shorten up my frames here, which you can do by putting your cursor in the gray bar and then pinching together your fingers on your mouse pad, and that just makes it a little bit more comfortable to view and a little easier to edit. Next we're going to go ahead and put markers in the places on the song where we want each clip to start. This is where the music breaks or where it like reaches a high pitch, and you place a marker by hitting the M key. We do that for the whole song. Once all of our markers are placed, we're going to go ahead and start trimming the clips to fit into these sections that we created with our markers. You can do this fairly quickly to make a rough cut of the montage just by placing the clips between those markers. You might need to add some clips if you didn't have enough originally. And after you've done that, you have a rough cut. Now you just watch through and make sure the clips are actually the length you want, make sure that the marks actually hit the changing of the clips and that it makes sense, the flow makes sense and all of that. Uh, here, I'm actually gonna add another clip. I thought the clip of the 3D printer would go across the whole section, which is two marks, but it actually slows down the flow of the montage, so I'm going to shorten it and add another clip. And by splitting the clip at the marker in the middle, we can figure out exactly how long the replacement clip is going to need to be. And then you just watch through a few more times, you make sure all the clips are the right length, and voila, you're gonna have a montage. Here's our final product. So that was it. If you want to learn more about making videos for YouTube, please consider attending our workshop. It is next Monday at two o'clock. If you want any further information, check out the link to the event in the description bar below, or feel free to email us at coosbaylibrary at gmail.com or leave your question in the comments below. For other upcoming events, on Wednesday the 21st, this Wednesday, there is an Oregon Learner's Permit prep class happening from 9 to 2.30. So if you're hoping to get your Learner's Permit soon, this might be a good class for you.
On Saturday the 24th, we're partnering with the Egyptian Theatre to have a showing of The Fantastic Mr. Fox. If you're interested in seeing this, getting your ticket here at the library, come talk to us at the front desk. And next week we've got Pokemon Club on Wednesday, Game Night on Friday, and Spanglish on Saturday. We're also having a ceremony to honor Vietnam veterans on Thursday the 29th. This is part of our program series centering around the Vietnam War. It's happening at 10 a.m. that Thursday. So if you're able to come, if you're not going to be in school, it might be cool to check out. If you want any more information about these upcoming events, check out our events calendar at kuzbaylibrary.org. If you're interested in participating in this channel at all, come to our workshop, but also feel free to shoot me an email at kuzbaylibrary at gmail.com. And if you're a teen interested in getting more involved in the library, consider joining the Teen Advisory Group or TAG. I'll link some information to that in the description below. And that's all for this week, folks. Come check us out. We hope to see you soon.